If your iPhone keeps screaming storage almost full at the worst possible time, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly what's eating up your space and how to free up some gigabytes in just a few minutes without losing your photos or deleting apps that you love. So let's get started. Before you delete anything, the first step is to actually figure out what's taking up space on your iPhone. Most people just start clearing out photos or uninstalling apps randomly, but there is a much smarter way to do this. Go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage. This is your entire storage breakdown in one place. Right at the top, you will see a colorful bar showing how much space is being used by apps, photos, media, messages, system data and more. Now scroll down and you will see a complete list of every app on your phone ranked by size. This is where you can start identifying the real storage hooks. Tap on each one and check how much space is being used by documents and data, not just the app size. Start deleting apps that are not required from here. This might free up some space, but for many apps, the app itself might only be around 200 or 300 megabytes, but the cache data inside it can be several gigabytes. Apps like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Netflix, CapCut, and even Safari can silently store huge amounts of temporary files, offline videos, downloads, or drafts that you don't even see. Don't ignore system data either. This category includes caches, logs, Siri data, streaming files, and other temporary system files. You can't manually delete system data, but knowing how big it is helps you understand where your space is going. The best thing about this page is that you can tap into each section individually to see exactly what's taking up the most space. Spending a few minutes here gives you a clear picture of what you want to clean up next instead of guessing or deleting things blindly. One of the biggest storage consumers for most people is photos and videos. These files get heavy very quickly, especially if you shoot in high resolutions. So the first thing you should do is go to settings, photos and turn on optimize iPhone storage. When this is enabled, your iPhone keeps smaller, device-friendly versions of your photos on your phone while storing the original full-resolution versions safely in iCloud. This alone can free up a huge amount of space over time. Next, open the Photos app, Albums, Utilities, Duplicates. This section shows all your duplicate photos and videos that are unnecessarily taking up double the storage. You can review and merge them manually or simply tap select all and merge everything at once. Your iPhone automatically keeps the best version. After that, sort your media by videos because this is usually where the biggest files live. Delete long clips, duplicates, random screen recordings and any old videos you don't need anymore. Just to give you an idea, even a 1 minute 4K video can take over 400 megabytes. I actually found a really helpful shortcut on Reddit that can instantly find your largest videos. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you're done cleaning up, don't forget to open the recently deleted folder and permanently remove everything. If you skip this part, none of these deleted files will actually free up space. If photos and videos are the biggest storage consumer, then getting iCloud storage is honestly the easiest long-term solution. Yes, it's paid, but for a very small monthly amount, you can store thousands of photos and videos without worrying about running out of space on your iPhone. With iCloud enabled, your iPhone automatically offloads full resolution photos and videos to the cloud while keeping lightweight versions on your device. That means even if you have a lower storage iPhone like 64 gigs or 128 gigs, you can continue taking pictures and record videos as long as you have space left in your iCloud account, not just on your device itself. For anyone who takes a lot of photos, especially parents or content creators, iCloud is one of the most stress-free ways to manage storage without constantly deleting memories. Before we move on, I want to thank Syncom for sponsoring this part of the video. If your hands feel tired or stiff after a long day of typing or crafting, 
the syncom hand massager might just be the little relief you have been looking for personally working long hours on my computer leaves me prone to hand fatigue and pain and syncom hand massager has been a game changer for me this cordless device uses a combination of heat air compression and kneading massage to target pain numbness and fatigue right where you need it your fingers palms and wrist what really stands out is how customizable it is there are three massage modes three intensity levels and adjustable heat settings to customize the massage exactly to my needs those heat options really help boost circulation and relax sore muscles making it perfect if you often have cold hands or deal with arthritis the ergonomic design fits both the hands left or right so i don't have to worry about switching devices plus it's wireless and rechargeable with a usb c battery lasting up to 5 hours on a single charge that probability means i can use it in my home office craft room or even on the go but it's not just for pain relief using syncom regularly has now become part of my daily routine it genuinely helps improve my grip strength joint flexibility and overall hand comfort after a long day of work and i also appreciate the auto off feature for safe convenient sessions if you're looking for a thoughtful gift idea for someone or you just want to treat yourself the syncom hand massager delivers targeted relief and fits seamlessly into a busy lifestyle i'll leave a link to the product in the description if you want to check it out now back to the video another area that quietly eats up surprising amount of storage is messages and whatsapp If you go to settings, general, iPhone storage, messages, you'll see exactly how much space is being taken up by photos, videos, documents, stickers, GIFs, and other attachments inside your iMessage conversations. Many of these are things that you don't even remember receiving. You can tap into each category and simply swipe to delete the larger attachments you no longer need or clear out old conversations that are taking up gigabytes. If you're not a WhatsApp user, you can skip this one, but WhatsApp is one of my primary messaging app and it takes up a lot of space. I know that's the case for many. In your iPhone storage section, you'll probably notice that WhatsApp is one of the biggest apps on my device and most of that size comes from documents and data, but iPhone storage won't show you what's inside. To clean it properly, you need to open WhatsApp, Settings, Storage and Data, Manage Storage. Here you can review all the files that are taking up space sorted by size. In most cases, the biggest storage hogs are videos and forwarded media. Delete anything that you don't need and you'll instantly free up a lot of space. If you're someone who downloads a lot of songs or playlists for offline listening, your music app might be taking up way more storage than you think. To check this out, go to settings, music. Here you will see exactly how much space your downloaded music is using. If this number is high, turn on optimized storage. When this is enabled, your iPhone automatically offloads songs you haven't listened to in a long time while keeping your recent and favorite tracks available offline. It's a simple way to save space without having to delete anything manually. Next, make sure you review automatic downloads. If this is turned on, your iPhone will automatically download every new song or playlist that is added to your library, which quickly fills up storage in the background. Turning this off gives you full control, so you only download the music you really need offline. Next, take a quick look at your files app because it often hides storage you completely forget about. Open the files app. browse here you will see folders created by different apps along with documents pdfs audio files and random items that you may have downloaded over time the downloads folder especially tend to become a dumping ground for older pdfs images zip files and one time documents that you don't need anymore spend a minute reviewing these folders and delete anything unnecessary It's simple but you would be surprised how much space you can free up just by clearing this section. Another hidden storage consumer that most people overlook is offline downloads 
inside apps apps like google drive youtube netflix spotify google maps and even some more social or learning apps allow you to save content for your offline use but these files sit quietly inside the app and can take up gigabytes without you noticing it so go through each of these apps individually and check whether you have saved offline videos downloaded playlists cache podcast episodes or offline maps that you no longer need the same goes for cloud storage apps that keeps offline copies of certain files review everything and delete whatever you're not actively using just removing a few old downloaded youtube videos or a big offline google map can instantly free up a big chunk of space Next, let's talk about camera settings because the way you capture photos and videos has a huge impact on storage. The highest resolution isn't always necessary for everyday use. Go to settings, camera, record video and reduce the video resolution and frame rate. Most people won't even notice any difference between 4K at 60 frames per second and 4K at 30 frames per second, but the storage difference is massive. Do the same for slow motion settings if you don't need super high frames per second all the time. Also, avoid shooting in ProRes and ProRAW formats by default because these produce extremely large files and should be only turned on when you specifically need them using the toggle inside the camera app. For photos, stick with default 24 megapixel mode instead of switching to 48 megapixel unless you need that extra detail because 48 megapixel photos can be several times larger. Finally, let's look at your app habits because a bit of maintenance goes a long way. If there are apps that you haven't used in the last three months, go ahead and delete them. They are just taking up space. Also go to settings, app store, here turn on offload unused apps which automatically removes apps you don't use while keeping their data safe so you can reinstall them anytime. And it's always helpful to revisit settings, general, iPhone storage and sort apps by size to quickly spot the ones that's taking up most space. This makes it easy to decide what stays and what goes, and it helps prevent storage issues from piling up again. And that's it. If you follow these steps, you'll be able to free up a ton of space and keep your iPhone running smoothly without constantly deleting what you love. I hope this helped you take control of your storage a little better. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe for more smart iPhone tips and share this with someone who's always getting that storage full warning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.